We're going to start today's episode. I know the past couple weeks we've had some very special guests. Um, we have a last minute guest. She was very gracious enough to, to join us. She's a very passionate PE teacher, both about her job and for also helping out other PE teachers as well. So her name is Shannon Irwin. Uh, she is from uh, the Dallas-Fort Worth area. She teaches at a pre-K to eight school, a Catholic school, uh, PE teacher. So Shannon, thanks again for joining us. Yes, thank you. Thanks for having me, appreciate it. So I, I'm, we're gonna keep this kind of short. Uh, we won't uh, let, take too much of your time today. Could you tell us, can you fill us in about um, your new PE emoji, your PE Bitmoji deal that you got going on right now? Yeah, I feel like I was a little bit late to the game on that. Um, <laughs> a friend had sent me a Facebook message and said, hey, you need to join this group, which was called Bitmoji Craze for Educators. And I immediately fell in love um, with developing a cartoon me. And I just thought, what a great way to get connected with your students um, and for them to be able to see you um, in a cartoonish way and have some fun with them, right. have some fun with them. So we've been able to create a Bitmoji and send it out to our students. And I've been using them, um, you know, daily through our little touch and go through our video chats. Okay. I, I love when you can create yourself because I always put more hair on myself yeah, and slim absolutely. myself down. I always, so I always like doing that stuff. It's pretty cool. <laughs> so is that, uh, you, and you can plug them into like your own little gym area, correct? Yeah, that's correct. There's different ways to add them into your virtual classrooms. Um, there's all sorts of things. You can get them to talk. Uh, there's different lenses through um, social media devices that you could download and have your Bitmoji doing different things. And That's so cool. it's been a lot of fun. Very cool. Yeah. Awesome. That's cool. Yeah. And uh, you did something with, with field day activities. You want to talk a bit about that as well? Right. So field day this year, um, you know, we couldn't be all together like we normally would. So mm. we had to come up with the next best plan. And that was to do a virtual field day. And um, I was excited to, for that opportunity. I didn't really know how it was going to go over, but it went over great. I um, chose 10 different challenges for my students to, um, to challenge themselves with, with their families. And they recorded themselves and sent videos and photos back to the school. So we were able to all still be together as a community without really being together. Yeah, awesome. Awesome, very, very cool. cool. And now this seems like so far long ago, <laughs> but you, in my memory, you were one of the first people to really get the active home challenges going. Yeah. What, what made you decide to do all that stuff? Because I know you've been very active. Your videos have been awesome. Even your outtake videos that I've seen have been awesome. So could you share what, uh, what got your, your mind racing on that? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, Gopher contacted me and said they had this idea, and but they needed someone to pitch their first go. So uh, I was able to record myself doing the very first challenge, and um, I didn't want to just stop there. You know, right. my kids saw that first challenge. I shared it on Facebook, and they asked if we were going to continue to do this daily. Yeah. And I knew that Gopher had planned to, but I had not planned to at that time. And so when the students started asking me, I was like, I absolutely can do the daily challenge and send that out. So you know, it was it was great because I didn't have to reinvent the wheel for my classes. Um, you know, with the at home learning, my school didn't require me to have a set class, but they allowed me to still connect with my students through my videos. Right. Um, so Gopher would post their challenge. I would recreate that challenge and blast that out to my students. And then my students would then in turn um, do the daily active challenges at home with me. So cool. Yeah. And correct me if I'm wrong. I think the first one was with plastic bags. Right? Was it was it plastic bags? Dish cloths. Dish, dish cloths. cloths. That's what it was, and you were doing dish exercises cloths. on that. That was really cool. Yeah. That's so. If anybody yeah, watching is climbers. is looking for another <laughs> substitution for equipment at home, there you go. Dish yeah, cloths. Very cool. <laughs> and then one one last thing, we got to kind of make it light and fun. Um, where, how, or where, or when did you get started with all the jeeps? I've seen a lot of your jeeps. Decorated for Christmas, decorated for different holidays. So cool, yeah. Um, I think we might have a picture of one oh, yeah. uh, that we're going to pull we up here. here. Um, how did you get started in Jeeps? Uh, we love Jeeps. Um, you know, we took a honeymoon trip to Hawaii and rented a Jeep, and I said, I need one of these. And so <laughs> we just happened to be driving down the road and parked on the side of the road. I had a for sale sign with my very first Jeep which my husband shortly stole from me two weeks later. <laughs> so um, then he had to buy me my own Jeep because he stole my first one. Of so course. now we are a two Jeep family and we love it. It's, um, 
It's a great way to pass time. My students really enjoy it because it's a modified lifted Jeep. Um, cool. And then we yeah. play it up during the holidays and add different direct de decorations to it and such. Uh, Christmas, we go all out. I saw that. Uh, yeah. Put, <laughs> yeah. I won the most lights uh, this year. I had over 5,000 lights on our Jeep Holy this Christmas. Cow. That's awesome. That's awesome. Oh, the traveling funny. Christmas uh, Jeep circus. So Yeah. Well, I think that's all I have for you today, Yeah, that's Shannon. all I got. Thanks Again, so much for joining us. Yeah, thank you for joining us. Absolutely. Kind of last minute notice. So um, do you want to um, share your, your Twitter page? Because I know you're very active when it comes to Twitter. Um, so if you want to plug that, go ahead. Yeah, um, you can follow me on Twitter. It's at Coach underscore Jarvis, J-A-R-V-I-S. That's my maiden name. So okay. Coach underscore Jarvis. All right, awesome. Well, there you go. Give Shannon cool. a follow on Twitter. And uh, yeah, hopefully see some, some more Jeep pictures down the road. So yeah. thanks again for joining us today, Shannon. Have a nice summer. Absolutely. You guys take care. Yeah, Appreciate it. Stay take safe. Bye-bye.